Hello everybody. I wanted to kind of do a video this afternoon and kind of show you a few things that we've got going on. Uh, been a busy week for me. I've been on vacation this week and really trying to get a lot of stuff done around here. Uh, but anyways, I uh, got a new project going on. I got uh, my ribs put in for my greenhouse. Uh, be working on it the next month or two, uh, getting things going on it. Also over here I've got a uh, little potter's area that we made. Uh, it's got a potter's bench and uh, also an outdoor sink. I've always wanted a sink outside that I could uh, just bring my produce over to uh, a certain area, wash it out here. Uh, we might even do some canning over in that area. Now, I've still got to work on some uh, landscaping around it and all. Down on the end of the bench here I've got uh, an area where I can either sift compost, uh, sift any kind of uh, soil I need but also can use this uh, mesh wire for a drying rack for onions, garlic, stuff like that. Greenhouse here is uh, 12 feet wide by 22 feet deep and uh, not as big as I'd like but uh, you know we, we don't live on a lot of land uh, so this is about as big as I can uh, go right now without uh, taking up too much garden space. The area here where I put my greenhouse is where I put my onions and garlic this year. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge to get in here and work on this with these here, but they'll be out of here by late May, June at the latest. Plan on doing some uh, Dutch buckets for tomatoes uh, like Bobby and some of the others on here has been doing. I've been watching them closely and uh, plan on doing uh, some of those and also uh, look to get into some hydroponics and maybe some aquaponics. I've got a stove that I plan on using in here. Uh, it's going to be a wood stove. I'm going to see how it works the first year. Uh, really would like to possibly put in a rocket stove uh, it, here in this greenhouse. Uh, we'll see how things go. Uh, time permits, I can I can get that done. If not, I've got a I've got the wood stove that I can use the first year. Inside the greenhouse, things are progressing nicely. I was tempted to uh, put some stuff out this week and dead gum. I watched the weather the other night and we've got a freeze coming this weekend. So it's going to be another week or so, but uh, all the tomatoes and peppers and everything are looking real good in here. There's some more there. All my tomatoes are coming up real good. Uh, they're up, I guess most of them are up six, eight inches tall now. Of course, these have been transplanted uh, from their original containers, but they've got real good thick stems on them. I'm going to be well pleased this year, I think, with my tomatoes. Hopefully the wind hadn't bothered you too much, guys. I've got a piece of cotton that I'm uh, holding over the microphone, but it is very windy today. We've got storms coming in tonight. Uh, that's what's going to bring in a norther. Uh, I reckon tonight is going to cool us down, and then I think by Saturday night it's supposed to get down to 31 degrees. So we still got a week or so, I guess, before uh, spring officially starts here. Uh, I know some of you guys still got snow on the ground, and uh, I guess that's a blessing sometimes uh, around here when we get snow. We, we kind of enjoy it. It kind of slows things down a little bit, uh, but we don't see that more than uh, once or twice a year. But hopefully uh, y'all can follow me along as I get this uh, new greenhouse built and uh, start getting some stuff growing through the winter time uh, so we don't have that uh, lull period where we uh, are stranded eating nothing but kale and collards. That's about all I can get uh, to winter over. I uh, had some carrots this year winter over. Uh, lettuce made it till uh, early January and we had a uh, pretty low temperatures uh, come in and uh, knock my lettuce and stuff out but uh, this next year I plan to uh, to be eating fresh garden vegetables tomatoes and all through the winter time and look forward to that but you guys have a great day and we'll see y'all later